Hi everyone. Today we're going to be solving leak code number 994, rotten oranges. So the input is going to be a 2D grid of integers, and the output, what they want, is the maximum amount of time it takes for all the fresh oranges to rot, or if there remains at least one orange which is fresh after all the iterations, we return negative one. Now, they denote a zero as an empty cell, one as a fresh, and two as a rotten. So what we're going to do is solve it using BFS. And the key to BFS is using a queue, as we know. And the way we're going to keep track of this max time is to find out how many oranges is to find out the maximum distance of a fresh orange to its closest rotten orange. So if, for example, we have, we have two rotten oranges and three fresh oranges, it's going to be one, two, it's going to be one, two. So the answer is going to be 2. Now, this one is going to rot because of this, and this one is going to rot because of this before it rots because of this. So that's the trick we have to make sure. And the way we do that is by putting in all the rotten oranges as origins. Now, we know that <coughs> the Q is going to take in all the oranges which are rotten in the beginning. So I'm going to make a custom class. X, int, y, int, layer. Now what this means is this is going to keep track of the x and y coordinate. And this is going to keep the oranges distance away from its rotten orange that is closest to it. And let me just finish writing the constructor. So this dot x is x, this dot y is y, this dot layer is a layer. Now this is the class that we're going to use and I'm going to feed it into my queue. Now, what happens after that is, because this is BFS, we need to keep use of a data structure, which is going to keep track of the grids we visited. And so let's write our two data structures here. So a queue, Q-U-E-U-E, -U -U -E of class O, the class that I just made. And Q is new linked list and we're going to have a boolean 2d array called visit and that's going to be a new boolean of size m and n where m and n are the length and width of the grid that's passed into us Okay, now that we have those, what we first have to do is iterate through the given grid and put into our queue all the rotten oranges. And we're going to put a zero for the layer because the distance from a rotten orange to itself is zero. And we also have to make the grid as visited true. Now that's for the if, that's for the inner for loop, that's for the outer for loop. Now this is going to populate our, this is going to populate our uh, queue and our visited grid. So what we want to do now is we want to make sure that we start the actual meat of the problem. So I'm going to erase this. Now, while Q is not empty, 
we're gonna now what they want to return is a integer so we're gonna have an integer result of zero and this where every time we pop an object O we're gonna check its layer and to see if it's greater than the result that we're gonna give back so result is set to math dot max res well Q is uh, of an O of object O O current is going to be q.pull its results and it's going to be cur.layer. Now what we have to do is we have to check the top down bottom, the top down, down left and right of a orange on the grid. And the other thing we have to make sure is that we're not going outside of the grid. So we're going to make use of a helper method called inside. And I'll write that in a bit after. Um, yeah, so what we need to do is make sure that everything is it's inside the grid, it's fresh, and it's unvisited. So if, if um, inside is going to be a helper method that I'll write at the end, it's pretty self-explanatory dot x. So let's check the top first, and then the bottom, and then left, and then right. If it's inside, and the grid is fresh, because fresh orange is going to be 1, and we have unvisited, so if we make use of the data structure. Then we add it, add that coordinate, and then we set that one as visited. And the trick is we have to add increment the layer by one. So Q dot add is gonna be new O cur dot x minus one cur dot y comma cur dot layer plus one. And then visit of cur dot x minus one cur dot y. This one is going to be set to true. Okay. This is um, no. Okay. So we just need that one. Now this is going to be for the top and the one above the current. And then to check below it, we just have to add one. This would be the next code. You can check it out in the code. All you have to do is write the next if statement and put it like that. And this layer is plus one because we have to remember BFS works in layers. So this one, the current O, we have to increment one more. So that's for the top and bottom we've done. Now for the left and right, it's going to be the same thing, except we're going to say minus one. And then to check the right side, it's going to be plus one. OK. now. Let me write the inside method. What that looks like. What that's going to look like is if i is less than 0 or i is less than, well, since we already wrote m and n in the beginning, uh, we don't need to pass that in. So if i is greater than or equal to m or j is less than 0 or j is less than or equal to n, then we return false, meaning that the given coordinate is not inside the 2D grid. Else we return true. So this is the helper method that we just need to make use of. So after this is over, the last thing we need to do is just check if there's at least one orange which is fresh. and. 
if it isn't, then we return our result, else we return negative 1. else we're going to return result. So let's recap what we did. We made a custom class, we made a queue, and we made a visited 2D grid. Using that, we started our queue full of the rotten oranges, and we did BFS, and we found the max result and we checked at the very end to see if there was at least one fresh orange, in which case we return negative one, else we return result, and that's it.